What is going on, people? You know, you know what's hard about making YouTube videos? The intro. <laughs> you don't want to be the guy, hey guys, it's the Lister back here with another video here on my channel. Make sure you hit that, you know, that whole thing. We're not going to do that. But I am here with a suggested topic, another reacts to top 10, and today we're reacting to the top 10 Mega Man Robot Masters brought to us by Delgo the Dwarf. Thanks for the suggestion, buddy. I appreciate it. Uh, as always, you like anything, put something in the comments what you want to see next, and uh, I'll see if I can find a video that jives with it, and we'll go from there. Well, let's get into this. This is from uh, Watch Mojo, as usual. They're the 8 bit enemies of the Blue Bomber. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down the top 10. I don't, I don't even know how this one's going to go. For this list, we've taken the bosses from the classic Mega Man series of games and ranked them depending on their impact on the series as well as their fan base. Without further ado, ready your Mega Monster and prepare for a boss battle. Difficult? Ooh! Number 10, Skull Man. Okay. Four. Kicking off our list is the Robot Master with a taste for the macabre. Skull Man attacks with shots from his arm cannon and can generate a skull-shaped energy shield called the Skull So, it's an interesting topic. Like, how does one judge these i mean how cool the fight is how cool the stage is how good the stage music is what the weapon is when you get it if the game it's in is good or not and they're all good but skull man solid i like mega man 4 I'm, I'm okay with that i was hoping they'd play the music for each stage when they pick it but you know that might be a different video a barrier for protection a rather boneheaded opponent he only moves oh, no. attacks when mega man does <laughs> making him quite the strategist. If you can get past his defenses, your prize will be his barrier. At least they're playing that. Number nine, Fireman, Mega Man. Don't be fooled by the name. This robot master only exists for starting fires. One of the original robot masters, huh. Fireman was originally built to work in an incinerator at a waste management facility before being corrupted by Dr. Wily. Able what to it? flames down. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hold on. Can we can we hear this one more time? God, I hope. Hold on. I hope you guys can hear this. I'm gonna turn this up because I don't think you can. All right. One of the original robot masters, Fireman was originally built to work in an incinerator at a waste management facility before being corrupted by Doctor Wily, able to wield flames that can. So, he worked in an incinerator at a waste management facility until he was corrupted by Dr. Wily. Did he, did he just make that shit up? There's, like, it, does it say that on the box somewhere? I mean, come on. For real? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Reach 8,000 degrees. He often refers to himself as the Flame of Justice, which... Dude, where is he getting all this? Is there, like... Me anybody, is there Mega Man lore that I don't know about yet? Because I've... Gets to 8,000 degrees and often calls himself the Flame of Justice. That's awesome. <laughs> flame Man, ladies and gentlemen. Fire Man. Fire Man, not Flame Man basically means he wants to roast Mega Man alive. Defeating him earns the Firestorm. He should be using the pause trick. Impressive offense and defense. Hey, get off this. Yeah. All right. Number eight, Air Man, Mega Man okay. 2. The highly acclaimed sequel to the original Mega Man Here game had several awesome bosses. One of them was Air Man. And unlike his namesake, this fight does not blow. Airman's main method of attack is to generate powerful winds with the propeller in his torso. In particular, oh. a special weapon, the air shooter, can attack foes with a rapid barrage of tornadoes. It's Be a sure good. To knock the wind out of his sails before you get blown to pieces. The guy playing is not very good. Why'd you jump over? Airman's okay. Number seven, Quick Man. Well, Mega that's Man two for Mega Man Two. Like his name My says, opinion, this guy is fast. Mega Man Two should have more than anyone else. So we got two so far. One from Mega Man 1, one from Mega Man 4, and two from Mega Man 2. 
All right, we're gonna keep this going. Quick man's legit. Stage is awesome. Music is awesome. Boss is all right, I guess. One of my probably one of my least favorites in that game, but I like everything else about the stage and the weapon. So yeah. fast enough to put a lot of other robot masters to shame, and definitely fast enough to keep you on your toes. Aside from his speed, his special weapon is the Quick Boomerang, a small, razor-edged boomerang that he can rapidly fire from the launcher on his right arm. You'll need expert timing and sharp skills to catch this boss. Oh, you know. <laughs> Number six, Galaxy Man, Mega Man 9. Okay, so they went with that the newer ones. But this robot master is no pushover. Keeping with the theme of all things out of this world, Galaxy Man will fly and teleport around the stage like a UFO before attacking with his special weapon, the Black Hole Bomb. And yes, That's a cool it is as deadly as it sounds. It is a cool weapon. That game is really hard. I don't know if any of you guys have played Mega Man 9. It wasn't obviously part of the OG ones. 1 through 6 were on NES, 7 and 8. 7 was on Super Nintendo, 8 was on PlayStation, 9 and 10 were like from the 360 and up era. But that game was not easy at all. I don't remember a whole lot about that, but I remember that Robot Master and I remember that weapon and fun stuff. I like it. Get past that and it's a matter of blasting away at his health until this Robot Master gets blown to infinity and beyond. To infinity and beyond. How come he's not talking about what you get from that one? Number Whatever. five, Cut Man. Mega Two Man. from Mega Man 1. Another one of the original robot masters, Cut Man is pretty self-explanatory. Get too close and you will get cut into little blue pieces. With his rolling cutter, an extremely sharp pair of scissor-like blades that can be thrown like boomerangs, you'll have to keep on your toes and attack huh. fast and hard before Cut Man decides that you need a shave that's perhaps a little... So we're about halfway in. It's pretty quality list so far. Uh, there's, there's a lot of robot masters. I mean, there's six in the first game and eight in every other game. So that's 72, 78 to pick from. And they only get the name 10. And we already got two of them from one game, two of them from another game. Interesting. Like, where's Mega Man 3? Like, hello? Or Mega Man 5 for us cloud art people out there. A little too close for comfort. Make sure I'm just pushing recording. I don't know what four, the Lech Man, Mega Man. Three the from Mega Man One. This robot master was hailed as Dr. Wily's greatest creation, with the ability to control lightning and speed that wasn't dwarfed until Quick Man was created. His special weapon, the Thunder Beam, fires off devastating bolts of high voltage energy in multiple directions. Bit of a tip, use Cutman's weapon. It makes quick work of him. What was the select button? Remember that. Black Man's cool. I like the stage, I like the boss, I like the weapon. All good. Number three, Pharaoh Man, Mega Man 4. Okay. You may want to reconsider going tomb raiding when you have this robot. What number are we on? Three? You may okay. want to reconsider going tomb raiding when you have this robot master. This guy's cleverer today. You know, that's a lot of cleverness. So I like Pharaoh Man. That's a cool stage too. One thousand Mumira working for him. Stocking up on your arsenal before facing this boss is essential. He'll jump around the stage, firing off his special weapon, the Pharaoh Shot, before deciding to land on you, which is equally dangerous. Be careful when dealing with this living fossil. Can this change colors there? Did you see that? Be careful when the Pharaoh Shot. Before deciding to land on so they're playing on something games. here and then what's the next Careful one when dealing with this living fossil <laughs> Fine. number two number two guts man mega man mega man one wins cut man this construction worker inspired robot has appeared in most of the mega man universe possessing great physical strength he's capable of lifting heavy rocks that's four bosses from the battle, first game i'm, I'm actually throw said rocks not faking this surprise i'm, I'm pretty his to hit his enemies with a powerful considerably tackle. surprised round shake with his jumps he number one's gonna be probably metal moves. man though at least it should be maybe snake man i'm probably wrong <laughs> Before we load up our busters... Okay, honorable mentions, honorable mentions. Let's see if we can get something. Who fell just short of the curve. Mega Man 4 again. 
Mega Man 5, there we go. Something from 5. Something from 10. Whoa, whoa, whoa. One, Metal Man. Shadow Man's not from that game. Just throw that out there. That is a incorrect statement right there. That is uh, Mega Man 3. Thanks. Maybe 4. I don't know. <laughs> Now I look stupid, but I know it's not the first one. Number one, Metal Man. So before he even gets to it, everyone else that I know, besides me, since I, I used to speedrun Mega Man 2, starts with Metal Man for a very specific reason. His blade never runs out. Like, you can use that blade in any stage for the whole stage, and you will never run out, and it's way more powerful than the Mega Buster. So, see if he says that. Mega Man 2. Mega Man 2 was a huge hit for a reason, and we like to think that Metal Man had a hand in that. I'd hope so. He was the first robot master built by Dr. Wily, created especially for combat against Mega Man. His special weapon is the Metal Blade, large and razor sharp saw blades that he can throw at high speed with deadly accuracy. He'll leap around the stage and try to carve you into little pieces, all the while you're getting thrown around on a conveyor belt. It's a great boss battle. Yeah, it's not it very good. With a true sense of satisfaction when you finally beat it. So he didn't mention that at all. Do you agree with our list? Yeah. Who's your favorite robot? Well, there he goes using it though. With new videos published daily, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo. <laughs> so what do we think about their list? Uh, me personally, I think there was a couple uh, pretty good ones that are better than some of the things that they had on there. If that makes any sense. Uh, Snake Man is an awesome state, or an awesome boss. Well, the boss is kind of eh, I guess. I guess I can get behind that. I like Bubble Man that's on the screen there. I like Crash Man. I like Wood Man. I like Mega Man too. Uh, <laughs> but overall, not a whole lot to argue with there. A lot to choose from. Pretty pretty funny they didn't really have anything from 5 or 10 or really did they have one from 3 I don't even remember so anybody that plays Mega Man out there what is your favorite Mega Man robot master even a top 5 top 10 top 100 whatever you want to do put it in the comments below hit the button if you like it throw me some suggestions this is super fun I really like making these videos and hopefully we can do another one pretty quick here thanks for watching later